So, on our pattern, last class, whatever we have completed. Any questions in Anakadil? Okay. See, if there are no questions, we will start with a new remedy. Again, a very important remedy. I keep using this very often in my training. So, wherever time permits, I will try to share some practical cases. Okay. So that you understand Materia Medica much, much better. Done. Okay. So we'll get back to this uh, remedy that we are going to discuss. We started a group. What group characters we are done with? We are done with acids. Yes, good. Huh? Spiders. Carbons. Mercury. Okay, good. Mercury is done. Kali groups, yes, good. See, if groups are done, one group I introduced, you know, I had done a group, which was that? Carbon. I had done carbons. Okay. We spoke uh, in detail, yes, we spoke in detail about carbons. One such carbon is what I am going to discuss today. And uh, what was the very important mental symptom of creosote? I discussed a case. Okay, there is capriciousness, I have nothing against. Okay, but what was the case that we discussed where I stayed in Ruby? Yeah. Okay. Okay, there was no hope. Hopelessness. So, he had taken a lot of treatment, he had given up. And what was the Ruby we had taken? Despair. Death desires despair from. He wanted to die, he wanted to end his life because so many things have tried and there is no Cure. Cure. Okay. So, death desires despair from is what we saw in creosote. Which are the other carbons that you can recall? Creosote was one. No, no, no. I mean, I am talking of carbons. Very good. Carbo waste. Calcarea carb, Kali carb, they don't belong to carbons. They belong to calcarea and they belong to Kali. I am talking to you about carbons. Carbo waste, graphitis. Carbo waste, graphitis, and of course, uh, you know, creosote is what we already explored. Okay. So we'll uh, look at another carbon. A carbon which is very, very, from the image. Obese. Obese. So the carbon that we're focusing today is a carbon which is uh, very obese. Okay, that's one point. Now, before we jump into the carbon that we're discussing, Okay, what remedies come to your mind as a third year student which are obvious? Okay, Kalkareka, good. Tuja. Tuja. Tuja is psychotic. Kalkare ass. Yeah, obvious women. Graphite is good. Graphite is. Huh? Sepia is not uh, very obvious. What is the kind of physical appearance of Sepia? Sepia will have more of manly figure. Okay? Sepia will have more of manly figure. Flat chest, narrow pelvis. Okay? So Sepia will have more of a manly, manly figure. Fine, that is more of Sepia. So Sepia ladies, they are seldom obese. You might have obese Sepias. I am not telling, Sepia will not be obese. But generally, if you look at the physical appearance of Sepia, they are very lean, thin, or one word I would like to use here is manly figure. You know, we have women who look uh, very mannish. What do you understand by mannish women? Huh? Broad yeah, broad shoulders. Okay. Yeah. And they have uh, muscles which are uh, very uh, very masculine. Okay. And you might be seeing uh, unwanted hair, hirsutism. Manly behavior. We'll, we'll discuss. Okay. So, sepia will not come under uh, obvious constitutions. Calcarea, absolutely right. Calcarea ash. Somebody was talking of graphitis. Ferrum. One more simple remedy. They just, they just keep hogging food. And naturally, hogging food will give rise to this particular situation. Which is the one? How is it in lycopodium? No, no. I mean, uh, the physical appearance. 
the thin debilitated upper part emaciated lower part semi dropsical lycopodium okay then then other remedies so you have few more remedies and the remedy i was trying to tell you is somewhere here antimonium crudum antimonium crudum people they keep hogging and it is compared to which animal pig. it is compared to pig because of the dirtiness because of that uh, rough skin and because of that eating habit they just keep hogging food so hogging food giving rise to obesity you have phytolacca you have graphite you have ferum you have capsicum calcarea many more remedies mentioned in your uh, material mentioned in your repertory which are which are obese okay so we'll get back to today's uh, remedy and today's remedy as you saw from the list that i tried to show you here is a obese constitution okay so any anyway, while guys which is the remedy we are going to we are going to discuss graphites what made you think of graphites women huh? women remedy climatic climatic period then women remedy climatic period what else what is see and what made you think of graphites because graphites is a remedy which is prepared from lead pencil lead fine right? so trituration of prepared black lead from finest english drawing pencil so the credit for proving this particular remedy goes to dr hanuman he was the one who proved graphites and uh, black lead and plumbago are the two common names of uh, graphites okay and it was used in olden days as a skin remedy so what is it indirectly giving us a clue that one of the important sphere of action of graphites will be on skin this is what dane and devo we see in our clinics the graphites is a very important remedy acting on skin okay so this is the basic introduction about graphites we'll go ahead see this also a beautiful statement which i just added and what is it that this statement tells is graphites is a mineral carbon in which there is a small amount of iron keep this statement in your mind we'll use this statement when time requires so what is this statement telling graphite is has a little amount of iron iron good okay we'll get back now i'll directly start with the sphere of action where exactly you see graphite is acting and uh, from the knowledge we had before graphite was proved graphite was used for skin affections so skin is one area where you see graphite predominantly acting okay then now what will graphite do acting on skin very important you have many remedies starting with aconite till zincum acting on skin but each remedy has its own uh, you know affinity its own pathogenesis now what is graphite is doing is very very important okay so now graphite is acting on skin if you just see here it can cause eczema it can cause cracks very very prominent and it can cause a discharge discharge which is coming from the eruptions and this discharge is a sticky discharge okay if you read books material the word they use is honey like discharges which are honey like sticky discharges they come under graphite fissures cracks and eczema thickening and induration of skin okay to make it simple graphite acts on skin and it will cause eczema one and it can cause thickening of the skin and it can also cause cracks it can also cause cracks three important things okay and if the eczema has a discharge then that discharge is sticky sticky discharge very important we get cases in our clinic okay where we have used graphite successfully in uh, skin affections hmm? okay we'll go ahead and we'll talk of its action on the lymphatic system glands or the lymphatic system 
Now acting on the lymphatic system, graphites causes acrid secretions. Okay, it causes acrid secretion. And the next area will be the GI. GI, GI, gastrointestinal tract. Any wild gas, what can graphites do acting on the GI? It will cause, yes, it will cause constipation. Basically, it will cause uh, weak digestion. Uh, Dr. Bert uses the word atony, weak digestion or weakness. There is weak digestion and there is also constipation. Okay. So, the third or the fourth area is on the sexual sphere. Hmm? Sexual sphere. Initially, there will be excitement followed by prostration. Hmm? So, graphite's person will have excess desire. But when it comes to the level of performance, they feel tired very fast. Excited and prostration. Okay. Now this is a very important area. Now what do you interpret from this uh, image? Huh? What is it? Good. Somebody green. Crack. Very good. Yeah. You see a crack here. Good. Beautiful observation. But keeping your anatomy knowledge, can you think of something here? Very good. Louder. Mucocutaneous junction. Okay. One of the very few remedies in our materia medica which has an affinity for mucocutaneous junction. Okay. The other remedy which stands better than graphite is nitric acid. Nitric acid. Okay. So mucocutaneous junction where you see cracks, where you see cracks happening. Cracks, basically cracks. Can you think of some mucocutaneous junctions examples? Lips. 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 Good. Agreed. Huh? This area, nostrils, rectum, genitalia, agreed, genitalia, you know you have uh, this area, you have eye, the canthi, inner canthi or outer canthi. Uh, so I have also made a small list, eyes, nostrils, mouth, anus, vagina, nipples, fingertips. <coughs> Acting on all these areas, you see graphite causing cracks, graphite causing cracks, okay. So, the first component we discussed was, was sphere of action. A deep acting remedy, a carbon, mainly acts on skin, then lymphatics, GI, sexual area and the mucocutaneous junction. Okay. We will again revise in the end before we close the class. Okay. Now, we will focus on the other area. How exactly a graphite person look. The first slide that we saw, I was trying to focus on the physical appearance of graphite. Okay? Very important. There are many people who come to our clinic. You know, or you have seen different kind of people. If you are short, if you are tall, if you are thin, if you are fat. Okay? There are different constitutions. How is graphite to look becomes important. Hmm? So, I have taken an image from Google. What you see here is, what, how can you describe this image? A lady who is obese. obese. Generally, yes, generally dark complexion, obese, dirty skin. The skin in graphite is dirty. Great others tell, when they shake hands with you, you can feel that roughness. Hmm? Shaking hands only, there are great uh, homeopaths who can decide the remedy. If it is silicia, if it is silicia, it will be sweaty. Very sweaty. I am talking of handshake. If it is silicia, you know, I mean, don't go by this method. Okay, homeopathy is not so easy. Uh, yeah, shake hands. Okay, your silicia, your calcarea. No, no. Dr. Hanuman uh, did not uh, invent homeopathy. You know, on this basis, we have a different uh, method. It's a serious science, but authors, with their experience, they have contributed. Okay, generally rough, uh, uh, you know, skin, palm. They say it could be more of petroleum, it could be more of graphite. It could be many more remedies, but they could be these two. Or like, for example, you know, there are people who sweat, and if they have to shake hands, they generally use their kerchief. 
and then they do this and then they then they shake hands fine they are different individuals fine there are people who have a weak shake hand and then there are people who have firm shake hand you have to say please give my hand you know they're so rough with you and then there are people who just give this much okay fine yeah seriously there are people who just give this much you i mean handshake shows how firm you are this is what you learn but then there are people constitutionally who just do not touch and then there are people who have got very loose handshake i can't do it demo with my own hands but what you need to understand is people i mean if you see here it is not firm it's just you know uh, very loose okay they are more of sulfurs sulfurs will have more of loose handshake then hope i am not misguiding you this, this this could be confirmatory the moment somebody comes sits and he gives you a, a loose shake hand don't start asking all sulfur questions <laughs> fine you are dirty you feel angry at 11 and <laughs> uh, you are i mean whatever sulfur knowledge we know we start using it there so i practically avoid giving these kind of tips in classes because this could be a uh, uh, backfiring this could be dangerous but you should know with experience you learn fine so loose handshake is more of sulfur arsenic lycopodium they are more of firm firm shake hand okay done so we are talking of uh, lymphatics we are also trying to understand uh, the sphere of action and uh, we are trying to understand the physical appearance this is where we are trying to look at different remedies so graphites they have tendency to put on weight unhealthy fat they are very lazy and they are prone to obesity there are many patients in our clinic who keep telling this sir i eat one and a half idli but see how i am will somebody believe when i tell i eat only one and a half idli fine you know they have a the tendency to put on weight so that is more of graphites okay and uh, see this also tells us about the miasm which is the predominant miasm psychotic soro psychotic okay soro psychotic predominant miasm is soro psychotic okay so we look at the elements hope i am clear uh sphere of action physical appearance then we are looking at elements okay now elements from what do i understand from this very good elements from grief as a third year student you know lot of remedies for grief a lot of remedies having elements from grief first we will look at those remedies which are the other remedies ignisha netramur ha anti include yes or jalsinium jalsinium acid first acid first when you have a physical debility which is coming out of grief the remedies acid first hair fall headache weakness because of grief the remedy is acid first okay so acid first uh, anti crude aram when do you think of aram in grief when they have suicidal thoughts when they have suicidal thoughts you know uh, the, it is direct there is nothing in between grief and the only thought is let me end my life okay let me end my life that is aram so what happens in graphites graphites is the only remedy mentioned under your repertory under grief constant and prolonged grief you understand the meaning in the the meaning of this particular statement is constant and prolonged so it is almost a chronic grief a grief which is continuing and which is prolonged okay only remedy mentioned is graphites and what happens because of grief in graphites they generally have sleeplessness sleeplessness from grief and the grief is constant and prolonged grief okay so sleeplessness and uh, you also see lot of uh, fear in graphites a very timid remedy ailments coming up from fright ailments coming up from fear and uh, what is this ailments from is this excitement is more of anticipation what will happen so what is he doing ha huh? will the will my girlfriend say yes or no 
She is calling at 4 o'clock today to give the final verdict. Will it be yes or will it be no? So ailments from anticipation. Okay? Ailments from anticipation and ailments, you know this, we discussed a little while ago. Ailments from sexual excess. Sexual excess. Okay? And then we also have uh, ailments from mental exertion. Yes, good. Mental exertion. Too much of mental strain. Okay? That can give rise to, give rise to complaints in this particular remedy. We look at some physical ailments. Ailments from? Overlifting. Overlifting or overstrain, overexertion. Other remedies? Arnica. Arnica. Colchicum. Better remedy. Common remedy we use in our clinic is restox. That's the number one remedy. Of course, you have Arnica, you have Colchicum. When the muscles get strained, because of overlifting, graphitis can be one remedy you can think of. Okay? Uh, ailments from exposure to cold. Extreme cold. Graphitis is a chilly patient, a chilly carbon. Okay? Ailments from exposure to cold. And we also have ailments from what is this? From the image? No, it's not vaccine. That's why I'm asking you what is this? Yeah. Suppressed eruptions. There are many remedies, anti good sulfur, lot of remedies, you also have graphites. And ailments from? Ailments from? Ailments from? Ailments from? Third year student, then next student, ailments from? You are into the, you are into gynec postings now? Yeah? Ailments from menopause. Okay, ailments from menopause. Right? You have a lady, you know, uh, she's saying, could be, okay. Uh, I, I saw some grey hair here and you know, when I typed in Google, uh, menopause, uh, the image I got it from Google is this. Must be she's doing, anyway, we will not comment on the pic. But uh, what is important for us is, graphics is a very good remedy for ailments from menopause. What other remedies come to mind? Good, sepia, calcareas. Calcareas will have more of heart affections during menopause, palpitations. Sepia, lacasis, sulfur, sanguinary canadensis, and the list can go on. Okay? Do add crotalus, ophidias. Do add uh, ailments from menopause. You can also think of graphites. I'll quickly give you a list of things that can happen in graphites because of menopause or during menopause. So what is it that you have in graphites is there is uh, red discoloration of face, there can be leucorrhea, there can be metarrhagia, there can be obesity or wounds suppurate during the period of menopause. What is this last statement? Please uh, think and answer because this is the only remedy mentioned in your repertory. Wounds suppurate during the period of menopause. Meaning what? This lady would have had wounds before. Those wounds wouldn't have separated. Now, during this period, wounds are getting separated. Only remedy is graphics. Clear or confusing? Okay, the, especially the last statement. Clear? All of you? Behind? Artha Karela. Okay, we'll go ahead. So, this was about the ailments. Now, what were the ailments? Ailments from? Fear, anger, anticipation, sexual excess, overlifting, mental strain. Good. Okay, done. Chill. It's clear? Okay. Now, if you are clear and happy, we'll uh, look at a very important part and that is uh, mind. Mind of graphites. Okay. See now, mind of graphites is very similar to what we saw in carbons. Now the question is, what was the carbon mind? What was the slow. mental generals of carbons that they were very slow? They were very sluggish. Then? They were very slow, they were very sluggish, they were very timid people, fearful people. Okay. Now, same thing holds good in graphites. I will also try to 
tell you what or how is graphite different from other carbons. Okay. So we will try to understand here what is this first thing that you see. A child who is very timid, a child with less courage. Our carbons, our graphites, they have less courage. They are very timid people. Okay. First. And second thing is, if you see this image, what do you understand? Reassurance. Yeah, they, I mean, okay, good. Reassurance. They are very sympathetic. They are very mild. They are very caring. Caring, mild and sympathetic. Okay. This is a very important quality of a good doctor. You need to be at least caring, you need to have that empathy and this gesture gives a lot of confidence to the patient. Okay. Just, uh, you know, I mean, it's not promised, but at least, uh, you know, we will try our best. There are so many cases, serious cases, which comes to our clinic. At least, uh, uh, allopros would have given up. They come to us. I mean, at least till whatever happens, till your last journey, we are with you, we will do our best. That statement makes a lot of, uh, uh, that gives a lot of relief to the suffering uh, patient. Okay? Hmm? So, very uh, sensitive, very mild, very caring and uh, an extension of this is what you also see is they are very fearful. They are very, very fearful. Fearful and what do you understand from this? Okay, good. Confusion. More than confusion. Good. He cannot decide. Good. Agreed. I mean, probably many of us have, uh, will be into this situation. You won't go walk into a showroom. You have so many things. You are confused. Which one should I buy? Okay. So, here, the problem is he cannot choose any one out of timidity. What if I have chosen the right one or not? That is what he will be more worried. So the statement goes like this, irresolute cannot take firm decision due to timidity. Hmm? They cannot take a firm decision, okay, no, I need this shoe or I need any damn shoe. He is not able to decide because of timidity. Okay? And uh, anxiety about the consequence of the, of the decision. For example, if I buy this, what will my dad tell, what will my mom tell, what will my girlfriend tell, whatever it is. He will be more anxious about the consequence of the decision he has taken. Hmm? Okay. So, not a firm guy, fine, very insecure guy, very timid guy. Okay, this graphite. Hmm? Now, this image, again, uh, due credits to Google Images, it is making our class little interactive, we get an opportunity to uh, interpret the image. Just looking at this image, whatever you understand. Jealousy. Okay. Jealousy. Fine. Huh? Judgmental. Okay, judgmental jealousy. Jealousy. I mean, it doesn't look like jealousy, but anyway, no issues. When I ask you your opinion, uh, I need to respect your opinion. Fine. More than jealousy. Moody. See, if it was suspicious, it would have been a different uh, uh, image. See, people who are very uh, sensitive, people who get offended very easily. You tell something to somebody and they feel you are telling it to me. Fine? So, uh, people who are very sensitive, who get offended very easily, and this may not be this image, but I just wanted to try to tell you that graphite is also very emotional and graphite is also very sentimental. Okay? Now this is the difference between other carbons and graphites. Other carbons, carbovage, carboanimalis, creosote, they are not sensitive. They are very firm. Fine? They are very stable. Graphite is the only carbon which is emotional and which is sentimental. So tomorrow, the uh, importance of this particular statement I am making is, tomorrow you have a carbon in front of you, but you see that this carbon is very emotional, very sentimental. Instead of describing carbovage or petroleum, you can think of uh, graphics. That is what I am trying to highlight. Okay? Very irritable. Very irritable. Fine? Okay? 
Now, when do you see irritability in graphites? Hmm? There are few subheadings, irritability when spoken to, irritability when disturbed, small small things can irritate them. Irritability after stool and irritability after eating. Okay, these are few things of graphites. And uh, anxiety for trifles. There is a symptom mentioned in your repertory. What is this? Anxiety for trifles. What do you mean by trifles? Small things, small things, small things, small small things. A next momica husband or a sulfur husband might have lot of issues with graphite's wife because he's a very carefree guy. If he's sulfur, and this lady for small small things, she becomes anxious. Then, so anxiety for small things. Or there is another thing, trifles feels important. You understand this? Small things feels important. Okay? Then, small, small things for graphite, it makes uh, so much of sense or they feel it is very, very important. Okay? Small things are very important. And uh, this image, from what you see, graphite again is a very moody. Very moody. Fine? When they are laughing, when they are crying, you can't make out. Okay? Huh? So, moody, Changeable, one moment happy and the next moment tearful. Hmm? She will be happy and the next minute you just see she might be crying. You get girls like this. They are all around. You need to observe. Okay. So many times we conclude hysterical. Or she is a hysterical girl. Because you never know how her mood is. One minute she is like this and the other minute she is in a different way. Very moody girl. Okay. So they can be very moody. Which other remedies come to mind? Pulsatilla. Ignitia. Asaphotida. We are talking of hysteria. But anyway, pulsatilla is a remedy which comes very close. Okay. But pulsatilla is more for uh, teenage girls. And graphite is, is more for menopause. Okay. Done? Hmm? And uh, you know this, we have. Uh, Discuss this a little while ago and this is mainly about grief, sadness. What is the sadness, what is the grief they have? Constant and prolonged. Okay, it is not an acute grief. It is a long lasting grief. Okay. Constant, prolonged grief, sad, melancholy people with long standing grief. Okay. Now this is very important. What is this? Music. Music. They are very very sensitive to music. Done? They are very very sensitive to music. Other remedies which are sensitive to music? Netram car. Netram car, what will happen in Netram car? Yeah, they almost go to suicidal, uh, they will get suicidal thoughts listening to music. Okay, Netram car. Akonai, Tamra Gracia. Okay. So here, the sensitive to music, Okay, makes us sad. Weeping from music. Music makes them sad. They start weeping, listening to music. Okay? And uh, one more very important sensitivity is the sensitive to noise. Hmm? And the sensitive to smell of flowers. Odor of flowers, they are very, very sensitive. Okay? Hmm? Odor, odor of flowers, they are sensitive. And uh, continuing the sadness, you also see that uh, the sort of weeping. And the speciality of graphites is they weep without reason, without cause. Graphite's boyfriend will have a tough time because she will be very moody. We never know when she is laughing, when she is crying. And even if she is crying, he will not know the reason. Why is she crying? Right? So small things, they can weep. And slowly, as the pathology progresses, as the miasm, there is a shift. You see a lot of uh, issues with concentration. There is a lot of issues with concentration. Memory goes down. Okay? There is weakness of memory. Eh? They, are, they forget. There is forgetfulness. There is uh, misapplication of words in speaking and, and writing. What is this misapplication of words? 
they might be using wrong words. They are not getting the right word. So, they use a word which is not relevant in the context. That is possible, graphites. Okay? Now, what is this? Huh? Lazy. No, lazy. He is expecting the food to get into his mouth. Fine? Very, very lazy. Very lazy, very indolent. You would have seen people sitting, yeah, yeah, I know, there are many, I, I can have live examples, who, uh, boys are ready with the names, who just lie down and uh, they eat. But here, even his expert, see, both the hands are busy with something else and uh, he's just expecting the food to get into his mouth. Very lazy, very indolent, okay? Yeah, aversion to work, very indolent. Now, what is this? Probably we are coming to the end of our presentation. What is this? Okay, good. Fake appreciation. See, somebody was talking of appreciation. I, I appreciate. Good, good observation. But what is the difference between... What is the difference between this appreciation? See, if you appreciate somebody, for example, you like this class. Fine? Yeah. And you don't like this class, and you know I am, I will be coming for your viva. Yeah, then you, you are forced to appreciate. Yes, you do appreciate. Then there are different ways of appreciating. Now somebody used the right word there. If you look at his face, and if you look at the expression, they are not matching. And even if they are matching, what is he trying to do? He is trying to do it in a... What was the word? Somebody used it beautifully. This is more of sarcasm. There is more of sarcasm here. It, he is sarcastic. He does not want to clap. But you know, he is conveying something, clapping. Must be it was not a good presentation. Yeah. Fine? He is clapping. So, sarcastic. Graphics. I told you when I did carbons, when I did carbon mine, when I did carbon mentors, I told you, carbons are very sarcastic. Okay? Very, very sarcastic. Carbo waves, graphites, they are very sarcastic. Then, And how do you identify sarcasm in your clinic? The way they talk. Okay? It's a kind of a taunt, no? Mm. Huh? Uh, some patient is not better with treatment. And you know, you say, please give me 15 more days. What will be the sarcastic percentile? So many months you did not do anything. Okay, let's see, 15 more days, what can you do? You getting my point? Okay. See, to understand sarcasm, you need to be sensitive. If you are thick skin like Antim Crude, then you will not understand sarcasm. That man will be eating his head, giving sarcastic statements. But you have to see, now this is the beauty. If you are sensitive and if you understand this statement, then it can become sarcastic statement. If you are cool, you take a statement light, then it is not a sarcastic statement. It also depends upon your constitution. Graphites, many carbons are sarcastic. Okay. Sarcasm which comes out of timidity. Hmm? They are not very strong people to fight direct. So they will be fighting indirect, giving some taunts, are doing something. So that is sarcasm. Okay? Out of timidity. Now one last thing I want here you people to understand. Yes? 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 Yeah? Yes? Okay. See, more than joyful. I, I know this image this image may not uh, make a lot of uh, sense for you. I had a I had a yeah, yeah. I had a patient. You know, I will just share a small case. I had a patient. Fine. Uh, she was a PT teacher. She was from north, some part of north, and they had shifted to Bangalore. And that part where she was, no, she was a terror. Okay, she was a terror. Uh, she was almost like a man, even in her behavior, in her body language, everything. And uh, the husband was sitting next to her, and when I was taking the case. I asked, the, I asked a lot of symptoms and she did tell her mind and then she was looking at the husband, Aapi kuch bolo, and you know how the husband was sitting? 
and i'm sure if you would have opened his mouth that day you would have had a tough time at home he knew he knew and he just said no no sir whatever she said is absolutely right sir he did not go beyond now women you know who who act more manish same lady one day you know when she had come to the clinic all shutters were down i mean uh, there were people waiting shutters were down i was opening this sh- uh, shutter three four uh, male patients waiting and she was also waiting you know what she told what could have been the answer from her sir shall i open the shutter i mean what do you expect from whom do you expect there are three men waiting i mean they are waiting for me and those three men did not offer themselves and you know this lady she came forward my okay right? so women who are manish you can get lot of examples from the body language we have i mean a bit due respect to girls bit due respect to women nothing against them but then there are few uh, norms you need to follow right so the way they sit not that men can sit the way they want but you know then there are some normal things you need to follow okay so from their body language the way uh, they act the way they talk all that will reflect hmm? fine that uh, sensitivity and the delicacy of a lady will be missing in their face okay they are more uh, manish at least i have tried to gone in myasms though i have not used the word myasms the first thing the timidity the irritability the sensitivity they are all more suric okay then the fear the lack of concentration the memory issues they all come under psychosis and then sarcasm can also be more psychotic because it is sort of timidity and the last thing i try to tell you is uh, uh, syphilitic is syphilitic what is syphilitic you are a lady you have to be like a lady your body language your behavior your talk should be more uh, like a women but you are acting more like a male so what is happening here the medically when you talk the testosterone levels will be very high okay the estrogen in this women will be low and testosterone will be very high so you see them having uh, hirsutism okay unwanted growth the body is also very uh, muscles and all very rigid muscles hmm? very strong okay so like men so that is manish even under manish you know the remedies that that are mentioned are more of carbons you have petroleum you have carbovage you have graphites you have natrium here and you also very good somebody was right you also have platina you also have platina mentioned under that particular heading exactly opposite to this is exactly opposite to this is the term i said manish so there is something called as effeminate there is something called as effeminate you would have seen uh, boys okay don't take names we have uh, don't take names but you know we have uh, men who are more of uh, feminine characters okay fine i am in i i because it's all recorded i can't take names but then you know many characters don't be due respect don't name them but try to remember them you would have seen them in tv you would have seen them in movies fine uh, if a minute hmm? many times we have uh, a mail calling us and we say yeah yeah tell me how are you and you know we assume it is more of a female and we tell ah hello ma hege dira chanage dira sir na no lokesh oh lokesh okay 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 then you realize the tone is something different fine so if a minute if a minute again a very important rubric see anything which is syphilitic anything which is syphilitic makes lot of importance okay fine because you are made something and you are doing something else so that will become very very important so male behaving like women is syphilitic a women for some reason is more manish that can also be syphilitic so effeminate manish they become syphilitic 
and what do we have in graphite is we have more of mannish behavior in women mannish behavior in girls okay that's more of graphite okay so before uh, you start asking doubts or before we start uh, before we close the class we will have a quick recall of what we did today so what did we do we under introduction this is the very important slide if at all you miss something please focus here so that you can uh, recall all the things so under introduction we saw graphics lamba what is it plumbago okay and black lead common name hanuman was the prover okay uh, skin affections all that is a mineral which has a fiber which, which is a mineral carbon which has amount of iron now nobody asks why iron what is the importance see iron you know if you look at ferrum they are very very sensitive to noise they are very very sensitive to smell none of the carbons has this particular character of sensitiveness to odor or sensitiveness to noise it is there because graphite has a little amount of iron okay graphite has a little amount of iron and uh, we also spoke of uh, the sphere affection and pathogenesis okay so to uh, quickly recall skin corner of the mouth j and male genitalia female genitalia and of course lymphatics yes okay ha huh? sexual stroke okay. yeah now how do they look physical the base dark skin which is dirty and tendency for unhealthy growth or unhealthy skin okay good and uh, the last area we discussed was mind mind i categorize under sora i put it under psychosis and i put it under syphilis without telling you but if you just look at the initial slides they are most sorry so what are all those slides timidity anxiety anticipation irritability okay so sensitiveness these things will come under sora not able to decide okay and fear and lack of concentration memory issue sarcasm they all come under psychosis and the last thing we offended very easily is again sorik and the last thing we spoke here was manish manish see many times you know you you will you will have to observe they are all there they are all there like for example it has happened with me many times in queue you would have uh, seen uh, i mean i had a very bad uh, experience you know in the queue i told sir please no and even the lady turned i hope you understand she was a lady but you know from her uh, from behind she was looking more uh, manish fine right? the structure from behind look more manish then you have uh, boys you know you would have seen them the way they walk no no this is a serious issue yeah can you please do it here one of your friend is doing it beautifully there you can request sir to do after the class you know how uh, they way they talk i i had a case i'm not very good at acting but then i had a case of a boy with uh, eruptions over his chest you know and uh, when i asked who 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 is having the eruptions what did i tell you a man i am a man so when i asked him can you show ha what's the ka you know and uh, the accent and, and trust me the way he removed the way he undressed and the way he showed no for me it was like a female undressing and uh, see he he removed this he was looking at my face then he caught something then he did this then seriously i did not have uh, a video uh, thing to record at least for a learning purpose see with due respect with due respect but what i want you to understand is forget about the eruptions what is more dangerous or what is more important is is uh, that he feminine thing you know the way he uh, when i asked him he went uh, into shock and he went behind and his body language fine what am i asking if i had asked a lady 
Yeah, I mean generally we don't ask unless we have, uh, uh, luckily I have my wife, I request them to meet her in the morning. That way I am blessed, so she takes care. But otherwise, you know, what you need to understand is, is like uh, the way how you behave. And this was a very funny thing. The way he dressed himself and you know, the uh, banyan, how he was holding, how he was covering his parts and trying to show me, you know, that is how typically a female would have done. So for me there, the rubric was effeminate. And the effeminate has six remedies. And my search becomes very easy. You're getting my point? Effeminate has only six remedies. Only six remedies. So I need to pick up and give one remedy among those six, looking at these other characters. Similarly, you have somebody behaving like a male. Fine? You have a rubric. Some female behaving like a male, you have a rubric and that is managed. This also has a very limited uh, uh, remedies. Your search will become very easy. Okay? And managed girls, they will be more prone for PCOD. Okay? From my experience, what I have seen, they will be more prone for PCOD. All PCODs will not be managed. Don't take my statements wrong. Fine? Don't take my statements wrong. But managedness or managed thoughts, managed behavior could be one reason for PCOD. 60-70% they would have had a feeling I should have been a boy in PCOD. 90%. I have inquired and checked. Yes sir, I would have always felt I should have been a boy. It could be freedom, it could be responsibilities, it could be some situation with due respect, but they would have had a feeling, I should have been a man. So when you have that feeling that I should have been a man, what is happening to your hormones? So your uh, estrogen will and what goes up? Testosterone. Androgens, testosterone goes high. So you see them with uh, all unwanted hair. The body structure only will change. Fine? That softness will go, you start becoming hard, you start becoming rigid. Rigid not only in the body, rigid even in the mind. So thought, what thought we have is very, very important. So please have good thought process so that you remain what you are. Very important. Okay? So any quick questions here? Uh, hope. What's the time? We are done. Okay. Chalo, thank you. Any questions? Boys who joined late? Clear? Yes, yeah, very important to understand. Done? Chalo, thank you. Thanks. Thank you.